Ladies and gentlemen of my Philosophy 305 business ethics class, no matter what a commercial tells you, there is no sex at the Carl's Jr. None. Oh, there's hamburgers at the Carl's Jr. But you don't want hamburgers. You want sex. And there is no sex at the Carl's Jr. And that's really the problem. And that's really the problem that Crisp has with what he's calling puffery, remember? Not the usual word. What he thinks is going on in the case of puffery is, again, that somehow the ad is smuggling a desire into your, you know, mental life and it's doing that by um, appealing to unconscious desires. So he has this um, very naive uh, Freudian picture, you know, where uh, there's these drive states, you know, desire for sex, power, stuff like that. And those motivate you and you don't have a lot of access to that. Um, let's not talk about the psychology of that. Some of that's, a, well, a little bit of that is right. A lot of it's wrong, but don't worry. Um, so the picture is that we have these unconscious desires for things like sex, power, status, things like that. And the ad appeals to those and gives us the desire to, uh, remove this. So the ad appeals to those unconscious desires and gets, gives us the new desire to, you know, buy the product, go to Carl's Jr., whatever. Okay. So this, the problem then So there's two problems that that raises. The first is what I want to talk about here. The first problem is This problem is And this one's really pretty straightforward. Um, the idea is that he has is that when you come to have the desire to go to Carl's Jr., right? So you see the uh, you know the model. Uh, so the person who sees the ad has their unconscious desires for sex activated. That's what creates the desire for them to go to uh, to Carl's Jr or to buy the product or whatever. But importantly, they might actually think that they, you know, sort of uh, like the hamburgers, right? So the idea would be that when they have the desire to go to Carl's Jr., they think that the reason why they're doing it is because they like, it. They like the hamburgers and they want those hamburgers. But Crisp is saying, no, that's not what's going on. Because the desire came about through this sort of, you know, backdoor method, it like smuggled it, the ad smuggled it in. Um, you think it's this, but you're wrong. So you don't know why it is that you actually want to go there. Well, since autonomy, remember, is all about, you know, sort of doing the things that you value, right? Uh, So that poses a couple of problems for 
so that poses a couple of problems for autonomy. Um, the first is that the reasons that it gives you, no, let's put So that poses a couple of problems for autonomy. The first is that because autonomy is about sort of acting in accordance with what you value, that means you have to be making decisions in accordance with what you value. But if you don't know why you're doing what it is you, you know, want to do, you don't know why it is you want to do the things, you think you want to go to Carl's Jr. because you like the hamburgers, but it actually it's because this desire got smuggled in through this sort of sneaky method you're not going to be able to make that choice because you don't actually know what your real values are, right? So it gets in the way of this. It prevents you from doing this because you don't know why you're acting, so you don't know whether your action is in accordance with what you value. The second and very related one is just that the reasons are bad. Um, and this is what he says when he says things like, um, uh, these are not good reasons that I could avow to myself as good reasons for buying the product. And the, so the idea is basically if you make explicit the, the actual reason you're acting on, you know, so if we said, oh, well, why do you want to go to, why do I want to go to Carl's Jr.? Well, I want to go to Carl's Jr. because I want sex. That's not going to make a lot of sense, right? You know, it does it, that unless there's some special story, right? You have a, a crush on the, you know, cute cashier or something like that. Unless there's a special story, that makes absolutely no sense. So the second problem is just that you are going to be acting on reasons that don't connect the um, connect to the action in the way that they're supposed to. So this is the first set of problems that uh, that crisp. So this is the first set of problems that crisp thinks that uh, puffery that sort of ever. So this is the first set of problems that Chris thinks puffery raises for autonomy. The next set are the ones that have to do with the desire to not be manipulated by, by others for reasons that you can't accept. And we'll talk about that in a different place.